Over the years, London has been focused on significantly in terms of money spent on schools. Mm -hmm. uh, and the feeling now is that those more rural communities have been neglected. But despite that, what's been really good is that our schools have kept booking and we're taking on new schools. Mm. Um, and we charge them, you know, £6,000 mm -hmm. a week, so it's yeah. a significant investment for them. But they continue to come forward. And the challenge for us is that because of the nature of our intervention, because we have such beautiful environments, high levels of staff, etc., it costs us three times that to deliver it. So we have to go and raise the money elsewhere. So mm -hmm. um, we do that through lots of different um, activities, whether it's selling livestock, renting the house at weekends, we run a music festival, um, we mm -hmm. uh, yeah, do lots of fundraising. So. It was fairly unusual that, you know, to, to bring a small cohort, like 10 to 12. Yeah. So if you talk a bit about like why that approach. Yeah, I think it's kind of the perfect group size to all be sitting around the table, sharing meals, uh, sharing each other's experiences, supporting each other through the week. You know, it's kind of the perfect group size. And, you know, when we set this up, it was always going to be a very kind of intensive intervention with mm -hmm. Small numbers having a very profound experience rather than just a volume thing, you know. During the day when they're broken down into activities, they, they are in twos and threes. And, you know, particularly if you're doing like a dangerous farm job with cattle or something, you don't want to be supervising too many more, mm. you know, and that way you can really involve them in the task. And the other thing about what we do, and hopefully you can get a sense of the fact that we have tried very hard to make it non institutional. Um, so we have, um, well, this is my grandmother's table and, you know, <laughs> a lot of the furniture has my other grandmother's desk and mm. a lot of the, you know, the stuff around is kind of from our family. Mm. Even in the design of the buildings, we've been quite uh, careful to think about it not becoming like any activity centre. And the other thing about that is that the kids look after the our resources really well. They really kind of take care of them. And I think part of that is the way that we present it. And the figure that we're really proud of is that 68% who come to us who are at risk of exclusion from school are no longer at risk of exclusion six months after. But then there are lots of other kids who we're here to support them with their self-esteem, we're to, there to provide respite from very challenging family situations and we're there to improve their engagement with school and their link to the school. A lot of teachers have fed back that they feel that this is the most profound thing they've done in terms of understanding kids' behaviour and becoming better at managing behaviour within the school.